Hi all, thank you for joining me today. This is Roland Baban. I want to show you how you can install the Xavier OLAP client into the ICCube suite. ICCube is an OLAP suite. It comes with its own uh, server and its own client. And you can download it from iccube.com slash download where you just find uh, the operating system that you're running. Uh, just click the link, uh, agree to the terms and conditions, and then you can download the installer. I've already installed, uh, downloaded and installed mine. Uh, you can find it here, Cube. Just double click the installer and it will install itself. And uh, when, you, uh, when, you, uh, when you're done doing that, uh, you will find an Cube uh, installation folder along with the version inside the bin directory. You can find the executable, you can run that. And uh, once, you, uh, once you run that, uh, you can visit the default um, front end for ICCube uh, by going to localhost column 8282 because that's the port where the OLAP server is running on and then slash ICCube and you will find this particular front end. Uh, it's, a, it's a capable front end. You can just you know uh, choose um, a schema from here and then you start creating a query or you can open up an example query that's already predefined. Uh, so let's, for example, take countries over time. Yeah. So, and then we run that. We get a pivot table over here with the typical drill down capabilities that you would expect from an OLAP tool. Yeah. Okay. So uh, now, so this is what you get out of the box. And now um, let's try Xavier. Xavier is an open source uh, project that I've been working on for a while. Um, it's a generic um, XML for analysis client. It's implemented as a pure web application and uh, it works well on uh, various um, XML for analysis providers such as, well, ICCube, of course, um, Microsoft Analysis Service, such as uh, Pentaho, Mondrian, Jaspersoft, and um, SAP HANA. So what you do to get started um, is uh, you go to the uh, GitHub repository uh, so it's uh, github.com rpbauman slash or, or slash rpbauman slash xavier and from there you navigate to the dist directory and there you find the xavier.zip uh, xavier.zip is the uh, the full uh, program uh, all you need to do is just uh, download the, the raw link either here or here and if you did that uh, you will get a xavier.zip so just to get it installed into ICCube, the only thing you need to do is just you just extract um, extract the um, the zip file, and this will give you a directory, a Xavier directory, which contains all the resources. Uh, so the only thing we need to do now is just uh, we just pick up the Xavier directory, just cut it or copy it. And then we navigate to our ICCube installation directory into the web folder. And there we just dump Xavier. So Xavier is inside ICCube right now. And this means that we can go to our uh, web front end and just go to Xavier and then slash resources slash HTML index.html. When we do that, uh, the Xavier front end will load. Uh, there's some uh, initial help over here to get you started with Xavier. Um, I'm going to show you as well. So uh, what we see over here, these are the cubes exposed by uh, our IC cube installation. We can choose any of the cubes over here. And when we do that, it will start loading its contents. Um, and then uh, we can you know, choose one of the visualizations over here. So let's start with a simple a pivot tab. Just drag stuff from the tree into the query designer and immediately you see we get the results. So let's also get some dimensions in there to make it more interesting. So now we can drill down over regions and let's also look at another dimension. Let's take, for example, partnership and dump that over there. And in this way, you can see that we have a pivot tab. Um, 
we can uh, we, we can do more than just uh, pivot tabs. We can also, uh, for example, create a bar tab, whatever. So let's uh, let's do that. You while you're building your query, you get some hints, uh, you know, in the work area that tell you tells you what uh, Xavier expects you to do next. And once um, uh, you can see, like in the little icon, whether you fulfilled that, you know, condition. So now we still have at least one step to complete before we can actually see our bar chart. So let's, for example, um, um, look at um, um, continent as categories. And so we get our bar chart, and we can um, make it a little bit nicer because we can like make multiple bar charts by just, you know adding this to the columns, you get multiple bar charts, and uh, on and on and on and on. And of course, um, well, there's more capabilities inside, but uh, this was just a short demo. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Please uh, get Xavier. Uh, feel free to contribute. Feel free to comment. Uh, there's an issue tracker inside the project. Uh, I'm happy to receive your feedback, and of course, uh, I'm happy to receive your contributions as well. Uh, there's support available for Xavier as well to um, to uh, get support. Uh, you can contact me um, either uh, via GitHub or by just um, sending me an email uh, to um, rollout.bauman at gmail.com. And you can also um, contact me via my company, uh, just-bi.nl. Thank you very much.